Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to see how to convert a checkpoint file into formatted checkpoint file. I have received a lot of email regarding the issues while converting a checkpoint file into formatted checkpoint file. Uh, like they are having several issues like if they are giving the command for like perform check command it's not working in their HPC or their server and the workstation. So how to resolve these issues? So Today I'll discuss all the possible ways of converting a checkpoint file into formatted checkpoint file and how to open and how to convert uh, like how to generate a checkpoint file. Okay. So first of all, uh, how to generate a checkpoint file. So when we are doing a calculation, so we give this uh, dot check name here in the input file. So that will generate you the checkpoint file. And if you are using a Windows system, you can directly open that checkpoint file. This checkpoint file, we can directly open using uh, Avogadro, GhostView, ChemCraft, whatever, uh, you know, the visualizer you are having. So I can directly open that checkpoint file. But whenever you are doing a calculation using HPC, server, workstation, or Linux system, most of the time you are not able to open that checkpoint file. So in that case, you need to convert your checkpoint file, this .chk file to formatted checkpoint file that is the fchk or fch file right so how to do that so first we'll uh, start with the windows version okay so we are having the checkpoint file here and using windows also we can convert a checkpoint file into formatted checkpoint file how to do that so first open your uh, gaussian system so i have opened my gaussian here okay I have opened my Gaussian here and now we will go to the utilities and here in the utilities we can go to the form check and now here we will uh, select the molecule where we have kept where our molecule is the, on the desktop so this is the checkpoint file select this open now automatically it will run the command and you will see you will get a you can see here the formative checkpoint file is here you can directly open using Gaussian view see it's opening here right this is one way okay now we'll discuss another way okay and another way is copy your checkpoint file and go to your windows directory where you have installed your gaussian and paste your checkpoint file here or otherwise you can give the path for checkpoint file just for easy i am just pasting the file here okay now here you can see there will be form check 32 this is for the 32 bit system suppose you are working with the boss in 09 and that is 32 bit in that cases if you want to convert your checkpoint file you need to use this 32 right but here i am using 64 bit gaussian so i'll be using uh, this form check this one so click this when DOS window will open like this. Then here we need to put the name. So here the name of my molecule, the checkpoint file is methane.chk. I will simply put .chk and press enter. You will see that formatted checkpoint file is generated here. Double click, you will be able to open that formatted checkpoint file. See it's opening here, right? So I have shown you two ways of creating the formatted checkpoint file. Now we'll use the HPC server to create formatted checkpoint file. Okay. So I am in the server now. So here uh, I want to convert this this file to the formatted checkpoint file. If I am giving the command like form check command and the uh, file name, you see it is telling uh, bas form check command not found. Okay. So in those cases, what we need to do is we need to go to the directory of Gaussian. Okay. First, we need to load the module where the Gaussian is installed. First, I will run the command and show you how to convert. Then I will tell you the meaning of these uh, commands. So module load code Gaussian 16. So I am loading the Gaussian module, Gaussian module. Next, I will give the path for that 
checkpoint file creation okay once we have loaded this ghosting module completely now we can convert the uh, that uh, checkpoint file into the formatted checkpoint file using same command form check and the file name now you can see that nicely done we can verify you can see a formatted checkpoint file is converted here and it's, it's here right so this is another way of converting your uh, formatted checkpoint file now coming to this uh, this path over here right that path i have given here so this path is corresponding to the uh, you know where our uh, ghost chain is installed right now so i will tell you okay fine so we are here we'll go to the home directory now here we see apps in apps we are having codes that's what uh, I have given right apps code so here I'll go to the codes and there you will see our G16 will be there yeah G16 is there right so if you go here so you will see uh, that all of the files uh, that install file of g16 is here right so here what we have seen is we went to the um, home directory then to the course then g16 so this is the path this is the same path i have given here right i have loaded the codes of the gaussian that you know input file and here you see bst dot uh, g16 profiles so it was there that was the another path for the Gaussian uh, other modules so here if you see that BSD path is here right so we'll go to the BSD here you see the okay okay so now it will yeah so here is the path for that BSD files now both of these uses to convert your checkpoint file into the format checkpoint file so you can use either uh, uh, either way okay and another way is if you are working with the server or workstation you can simply give the formchk form check and the name of your file suppose xyg abc dot chk right and press enter that's all you need to do so these are the, all the ways of converting your formatted checkpoint file uh, to the uh, means uh, converting your checkpoint file into the uh, workable formatted checkpoint file. If you are still facing any issues regarding this conversion of checkpoint file to formatted checkpoint file, please put in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And also, if you are using the content of our channel, please acknowledge our work in your respective publication, etc. Thank you for watching the video.